my name's John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. As usual, there's a variety of things going on, everything from plasma cutting to welding aluminium. Anyway, before we start any of that, I'm going to quickly do the draw, which was for the cheap and cheery Banggood metric DTI that I did the review on. We'll pull a name out for that one. There's a one. The name I've got here is Anthony Smart. All you need to do now, send me an email with your address and I'll get that posted off to you as soon as possible. I'm going to do another draw this week. This time it's going to be for a clock, 0 to 1 inch micrometer. It's absolutely brand new. Uh, it was given to me by a friend purposely to give away. He doesn't, doesn't work in Imperial. Comes with a case and you just have spun up quite a nice little unit. I'll get a close up shot of that. As always, if you want a chance at winning that, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my email up there. All I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes in the bucket. If you win, I'll post it off. I mean, if you win this and you're doing what, give it to somebody that can use it. I mean, it's, it's pointless me keeping that. I've got enough. Make sure it has to last me to the end of the world. Anyway, certainly well, well worth having. Yeah, a nice it works just like it's supposed to work. This is a fusible plug out of a local boiler. Um, what I've done, I've cleaned it up and I've put new lead in and what I need to do now is pressure test it. I haven't got an adapter that I'll screw into. That thread is inch BSP. Inch BSP is 11 threads to the inch, which is exactly what that, what that is. I haven't got an adapter but I've got that and I'm sure you want it inside of there. It's a case of drilling that, screw cutting it, inch BSP with a quarter BSP on that end. And then any any plugs I do which are smaller than that, I've got reducers that are screw into there, like inch to three quarter and three quarter and a half inch and so forth. So the first thing to do is get this skimmed up, dressed up, get it bought to the right size for that thread, which I think is 29mm, and then we'll get it screw cut. First thing to do is centre drill this, then drill it through 7 sixteenths because that's a tap and drill for quarter BSP that's a little bit true I'm not much sure it's better I'm going to play with here. Actually, we measured it and the thread is actually inch and a quarter BSP and I need a 29 mil hole. So I need a bit of screw cut that thread. This is a 22 mil drill going in to get some of the thickness out. I would normally bore this to size, but this is a brand new 29mm drill, which should give it some finish in there. a lot more than men steel this. It's doing very nicely. On 
only to do now is machine a little recess in there for my stroke cutting tool to drop into. This tool should do the job quite nicely. This is an 11 TPI foam tool on centre height so you can make sure that it is square to the end of the job by simply doing that lock it up with that and that's our tool on centre height at the right angle to the job Here I've got a screw cut into a blind hole I'm going to put the clock gauge on the carriage so I know when I have to stop the advancement of the tool. Right, so I've got a, a clock here set up here. Once that touches that's when I stop and I've got a hundred thousand to play with so it shouldn't be too bad at all to put this there. This being a foam tool I'm just going to go straight in no angle on the compound slide, I'm just going to set the thread up off the cross slide. So I'm going to put a little bit of foot on and engage the lead screw. This is a tape I fed anyway. I'm gonna give it one more so it goes in a little bit deeper. It's a spring coat just to ideal before I take out the, the chuck I'll run that put a base peak tap through the inside
so that's basically the job done. Clean this face up a little bit. And just a really nice bit of material that. Sharp for the edges again. Take the sharp edge off. Do it like sharp edges. That's it done. We run the top through from this side. A little bit of pipe tape on it. And that's the adapter that screws in. That's quite a BSP. I might machine a couple of flaps on this later on, just make it easier to hold in the vise. Onto the end of there goes the pipe from the hydraulic pump or the water pump, test pump. Right. Pump some water through just to purge the line, just to make sure we've got water all the way up to there. See with the hydraulic testers, if something goes wrong, you just get a squirt of water. So it means what you can't compress water in theory, it means there's no stored up energy in this, like there is in compressed air or steam. I'm going to a big set of adjustments down here, so I just have to use these. No doubt I'll get loads of complaints about being a rough bastard. Great, so in theory, if we pump this up now. We're going to pressure increase which we are, and that's absolutely wound well dry, nothing at all, no problem at all. So I can get the gauge and the, the plug and shot at the same time. Right, that's some both and shot at the same time. The working pressure on the boiler is only 125, but they're actually running it down to 70 because it is old. So we'll put a little bit of pressure into this. Right, that's 300, so that's more than more than double its working pressure, and it's absolutely bone dry. I don't know what pressure it would take to feel that; it would be a lot. Right, that's up to 500, and that's no leaks at all. How oh, this actually works, it screws into the into the top of the firebox of the, the steam boiler and the lead through the whole plug surrounded by water which keeps it cool. If the water boils away and the water level gets too low that lead melts in the hot water and steam rush in and put the fire out. It's a really old, fail-safe method of protecting the boiler against low water. It's been in use for well over a hundred years. Still used current day. Feasible plug.